Hi, I'm Lucy Alexander. I'm with AICAG, and I'm here with Shelley Welton of Columbia Law School. So, Shelley, what role do you play um, in the RCN CCUS? So, I'm the deputy director of the Law School Center for Climate Change Law, and along with Michael Gerard, our director, we've been contributing on the legal side of CCUS, right? So, thinking about what the regulatory regimes are that we have to regulate CCUS and how it might play a role in the future of our energy use in this country. Okay, and what kind of role do you see CCUS playing in um, you know, the future of energy? So uh, most of my work now is not on CCUS, and I think that that's a pretty commonplace occurrence in the legal community. Um, I mean, we saw some early legal scholarship on things like liability issues around CO2 storage. Um, there hasn't been a lot recently just because there's not a ton going on in terms of actual commercial scale CCUS in the states. So a lot of my work is on things like looking at how state public utilities commissions um, deal with emerging technologies to solve CO climate change problems. Um, like, for example, renewables. Um, you haven't seen a lot of action in the states um, in terms of actually incorporating CCUS um, because it is still very expensive and so we have some projects that are at the demonstration stage. Um, there are a couple of rare instances when commissions have thought about um, or have even approved certain costs uh, as getting passed along to ratepayers um, regarding CCUS, but I think we um, we need to come some ways still in proving that these sorts of projects can work before we're really going to see them within the U.S. energy mix. Um, but on that same note, I do think that longer term we are likely to see CCUS playing a larger role. Um, the IPCC put out their recent report this, uh, this last week and they clearly saw a role for CCS in the future of the energy mix um, as we move into a more carbon constrained world and we start to have policies that price carbon more rationally. Um, I think we're likely to see that we actually turn to it as a more robust technological option. And then once that happens, I think we'll really start to see the legal regime kick into place um, and we'll have uh, both state and federal regulations and probably the promotion of CCUS through the types of state public utilities commissions that I tend to work on. Okay. And this morning you moderated the panel on regulatory developments, cost and risk assessment. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, I thought it was a great panel. So it was uh, it was a really diverse range of perspectives. Um, we had some, we had a legal scholar, we had an economist that um, works a lot on international negotiations, and I will say he was a bit doomsday about where we're headed in terms of international negotiations. Um, and then we had some people talking about on-the-ground experiments that uh, seemed a lot more hopeful about at least the technological prospects. So I think it was, it was a really helpful panel for having technologists talk to people in the policy world. Um, I think it also showed me we've got a ways to go to solve some of these more um, policy and economic side issues to get these what seem like really exciting technologies um, promoted into the actual use. Okay. Thank you very much, Shelley. Thanks very much.